Hello everyone, this is Summer X. Welcome back to Bedrock Beta Adventures. I am currently hanging out down here at our spider farm. And today, in preparation for our next project, we're going to dig into clearing out and exploring this abandoned mine shaft. Uh, the reason why is because I want the rails out of there. So, if you look in my hot bar, I brought a couple things for us, a couple supplies. Um, I set us up a little base of operations back here. I think, whoops, I think if we go this way, there we go. I think if we go this way, we should run into our mine shaft and of course there's going to be lava there's always lava why not let's get rid of that real quick and start digging back in here but yeah if I remember correctly when I was exploring this mine shaft may be over there And more lava, of course. Hmm. Well, I thought it was right over here. Uh-oh. I've got myself down a hole. Get up out of here. Of course. There we go. All right, I see it right there. It is okay. I knew it was over here. What I don't want to do is accidentally run into our spider farm, and I think that's it right there, so let's go back down. Let's dig up on this level and see if we run into it. And now we're back in the same spot. Aha! I saw it. I could quit falling down there, please. There we go. We'll just close all that in. There, now we're in the mine shaft. Okay. So, I think this little room back here, where we just came in, be a good spot to set everything up. And there's more mine shaft on that side too. Let's 
So we will put in a floor here, just a simple cobblestone floor. Go ahead and drop our chest and our furnaces. All right, let's get in here and see what we can find. I think it looks like I've already been here and I might have been when I was building the spider farm. Yeah, I've been here because I blocked that off. Okay, so there's nothing there. Goes up that way. So we'll start with this side. I basically like to go like as far as I can so I get to like a dead end and then come back, take everything out, block it off so I know not to go there again. At least that's my process of doing this. I need some cobblestone for that. First powered rail, that's good. What's that? That's our spider farm. Some iron, we'll take that. Looks like we might have a slime chunk down there. Or is that a creeper? I can't tell. Okay, so this is the main area here, usually of a mine shaft, big dirt room. Let's cautiously drop down in here. Make sure we have a way to get back out fast. Right, okay. I think we're good. I think we'll go take out whatever's over there and then we'll start up that direction. Which I believe what's over here is a creeper. Yep. Cool. Go ahead and light this room up good. Maybe we should have probably end up going back and bringing all our stuff here so we can have our base of operations right here in the middle torch that so we know that's the way out Let's see what we got in this chest here all right we got some more rail torches coal lapis name tag not too bad let's break it and take the whole thing A fairly sizable mine shaft here it seems like some of these are very large okay so that brought us in a circle so when that happens I backtrack and then I start blocking things off so I'll take all this wood don't know if people like to leave the mine shafts complete for aesthetic reasons but I I just clear them out and get the resources out of them Shit. Yeah, we got a little bit of hit from that one, but we packed up pretty good. Oh, we got some gold too. Heck yeah. Anyway, onward. I'll grab this gold and just keep going. Well, that's a trick I just learned that I never knew. I accidentally threw a water bucket down instead of a torch right there 
and uh, apparently you don't actually have to mine those you can just wash them off the ground looks like we've come to another dead end so clear this out too now sometimes it pays in these abandoned mine shafts to clear out chunks of gravel like this because a lot of times there will be little hidden rooms and little hidden hallways you can find just something I wanted to throw in there and I said that and there's nothing over the solid wall but we did get a little bit of coal out of the deal over here okay this is on top our spider farm that's what's over here and we also seem to have a full inventory so I'm going to backtrack close things off and go drop off everything we found thus far so I'll be right back guys okay I'm back and I went and cleared our inventory out. That was actually a pretty good little haul there. That first little bit of exploring we did in this thing. Light this area up just a tad more. Grab these few little things around and then we'll go explore some more. Alright, so that's another cleared section now that we can go ahead and walk off. I know we've already been there. Oops. I figure now that's where we came in, so now we're gonna head down and see what's going on down in here. Redstone. Coal, we'll take that. Well, it seems this came down to another dead end, so I'll clear my way back up and we'll continue. So back up here now, that takes care of that whole basic I guess you would call it maybe a wing of this thing. Um, so I'll block it off right across here. Actually. Well, there's the way out. Yeah. Block it right here. Nothing else down there to see. And now we'll continue down this direction. There's a spider up there. Or spider. I think there's a skeleton. Yeah, there he is. takes care of that. I just cleared out this little section to the left there and popped out and got hit. <clears throat> anyway, come back for that onward this direction. See another chest down there in a mine cart. I wonder what's in that one. Uh, torch. There we go. Hmm. Still nothing particularly valuable except golden apple. Same thing. Just gonna take it all. And I believe that down there goes into a cave. Might be something to come back to later. Looks like we have another cave up there. We're gonna have to take care of that water. I 
we can just block it right across here. Yeah, that'll do. And right into a dead end. Ha! Huh. We fell down to it anyway on the way back, and it's just a little cave. There's nothing down there. I suppose maybe we should go up and check that one up too and light it up a little bit. See if there's anything cool up here. Okay, that side dead ends. Not very far down in here. Let's see if there's anything up this side. Pretty expansive cave up in here, actually. I think we'll come back to this because our main objective today is the mine shaft. So let's go back to that. I'll make a note of this and we'll come back and check this one out. I'm going to mark this one a little different and leave a hole there. Well, I'll just put a torch. Well, is there a torch there? I'll put a torch there, a torch there, and we'll try to remember that that goes to a cave. Let's check down this area. That'll do. That's, uh, that's all the way down that section. Yeah, it is. So I'll finish this up right here and we'll be back to the main part. Now it looks like we have two more areas here that shoot off to explore. Oh, and that little area too. Okay. lava coming out of the wall. I do not know how that piece of wood is not on fire. Ooh, I don't know if I get close enough without getting burnt. Alright, we're going to have to try something else here. There we go. Now the wood's on fire. That was the weirdest thing in the world. Right, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, there's a lot more down here. Oh. Creeper. Shit. Oh, that's not the shield. <laughs> we get lucky with these creeper explosions. I had that torch in my hand and I'm trying to hit the use button to bring my shield up like I had a sword. And it didn't work. Okay, let's keep moving. What is going on up there? Looks like there's a torch up there, like we might have already been up there. What do we got? Yeah, I think that's where we came down. I don't remember. Sure where we're at, guys. Oh, 
Gonna follow our torches back out of here, figure it out. Oh, that all loops around a couple skeletons getting into it. Now I'm just gonna shield up and watch and see who wins. We missed. Up. Oh, okay, that's who won. Non-enchanted bow won, probably because he was a better shot. Alright, okay, let's get back up in here where we were trying to go. Okay, and where we were trying to go was another dead end. Okay, inventory's full again, I guess. We're gonna go head back, sort it out, come back and uh, clear some more. So we're doing pretty good. That's what's in the chest, and then we have that iron in there and that gold in there. I say we keep going, because uh, we're coming out nicely, clearing this thing out. All right, okay, well, what's over here? Looks like there might be some lava. Yep. There's lava. Just a big old lava pit. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Most of it anyway. Toss the torch down. Okay. And that also goes up there and loops back around, so we're gonna oops. Oh, that works. Maybe be a little light there. Maybe we know not to come that way. Okay. Onward down this direction. Yeah. And dead end. Nothing here. Pick mushrooms. Yeah, and I'll grab the wood and we'll get out of here. Okay, guys, we're back up to the next area we need to go explore, which appears to go up and down. Um, <laughs> that fire's still there. So let's figure out what's going on over here. A little light might help. Is that a cave down there? No, that's more mine shaft down here. Okay. So let's do the bottom first. They seem to keep uncovering more and more mine shafts, so that's that's cool. Nothing in here except a cobweb. Ha! <laughs> Alright, take care of you. Whoops. Lots of water down here. Oh, do it. Oh, wow. Okay, that loops us back around again. That's all that does. And I don't think we're quite ready to explore this part yet, except it looks like we might have already. There's, there's our main room. Okay, so what we'll do, walk off right here. Sometimes these things are a bit of a maze. That's why I like to go like as far down as I can into one direction, come back, walk it off as I'm going. That way I don't get lost. Um, as I have before, I've got confused in these mine shafts. And I've done the same thing in caves, and I figured the best thing for me to do is just, you know, block it off as I'm going, mark it as I'm going. That way I know where the heck I've been. Anyway, 
right, let's keep going. And what's this up here? Okay, that's back into the main area. That's what that is. Alright, I'm going to keep going. Okay, so we checked down here. Now we're going to look. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to go up. We're going to block that and then go up. So we'll build us a little way up here. There we go. All right, let's see what's going on up here. drops down. Alright, a lot more cave to explore up in this area. So I say continue our pattern of going to the left. We'll shoot off to the left first and then take the first left just like we've been doing. Okay, that didn't just automatically run into a dead end, so let's keep heading up this way and see what we got. dead end and that goes back around into it so creeper he's gonna come up here we're gonna try to kill this one and never mind <laughs> can't give a sword up fast enough or my shield but he did take care of some of the stuff I needed to get out of here at least Eating would probably be an excellent idea. Oh, there's another room below us, it looks like. It probably wraps back around I'm guessing well, we'll leave a couple holes but I think that's the area below us that comes out of the main room okay back out of that section so let's, uh, let's head down here and see what's going on dead end and I'd say there's more below us here there just seem to be the theme over in this area is that where there's a wood floor there's chaff below us yep okay. we'll be down on that level in a minute I mean what did I just do? Oh. So I think that about sorts that whole section. There's that little hallway there, this hallway here, and then that takes us back to this. And which goes that way, yeah. Okay, so I want to finish this little bit up and then I'll be back with you guys, okay? So it seems here in this middle part that there's more above us so 
what we can do block that off and block the, this off yeah and we can leave that open there so we know that there's more up there to explore safely make a way across this any more torches no and we also have full inventory I'm going to head back once again and clear out the inventory hey look we did find a slime chunk over here somewhere over there which I think in bedrock um, and that actually might be too close to our that might be too close to our spider farm but I think in bedrock every single seed the chunks are the same uh, the slime chunks are in the same coordinates I'm not sure I'll have to look into that but I'm pretty sure that's the way it works on bedrock edition All right, where were we at? Okay, yeah, I know where we were at. We were going this direction. Let's go check this out and see what's down here. This one actually seems to go somewhere. Seems to go several places. There's a spider. Are you a cave spider? There must be another spawner around here somewhere. So we're going to be careful. Very careful. Oh yeah, this section down here is huge. There's all kinds of ways to go. There's the spider spawner in there. I don't know why he's spawning on that side of the wall. Right, so let's get this cleared out so we can safely make our way around in this area. Get down behind our shield here and start clearing out cobwebs. I might have to, oh look everyone's, might have to check our coordinates here against our farm and see if there is a way to incorporate this into our other farm that would be cool if we could have a third spawner and we'll go ahead and have this emerald we must be in a mountain biome they call it now I think it used to be called an extreme hills biome there's more Mine shaft up there too. Oh my, this still goes back on in here a good ways. Where are you at? I heard you. There he is. Right, okay. Let's just make sure this is nice and lit up. come back to check on that in a bit that's where we came in yeah that's where we came in make sure I'm still doing this systematically so I don't get lost there's another spawner up there too I don't think they're going to be able to get to us Well, that was worth the trip down here. Maybe. See what's in it. A little bit of iron this time. Some more rail. Yeah, same procedure. Just take it all. Alright, let's keep going. Another one. So we now have a triple spawner here, or is that the same one I just saw? 
No, that's another one. So we have a triple spawner in this area. And I doubt there's any way to connect this to our other farm. I'm not going to be able to get close enough. Really? There we go. That makes it a little safer. Bounced off the shield nice, didn't he? I'm sure there's a spider over there, yeah. Looks like there's a creeper down there jumping to. Careful. Whoops. That is not what I meant to do. Let's get back up here. I don't want to get knocked down into that creeper. I think that was a creeper I saw. Put a little light on this situation here. So it's a washed our light away huh. that spider guy that spawned in here I guess we're going up possibly we're gonna whoops we're going to build our way up here and see what we got. So we're going to get back in here without falling. that still keeps going yep thought we stopped it all there I guess not There he is. Where are you? Right. Is there another spawner down there? There's that creeper. Alright, so we were going up, right? right forward. Another one? There must be another spawner down there. So back here and light this area up. Right on. I might have to block that off. Although it's nice to get some extra experience. Where are they coming up at? Coming up through there, there's got to be another spawner. Oops. Well, now we're in it. If I can get out of... Yeah, 
And a whole new level down here. I'm wondering if they weren't just coming down here and chilling out. Let's get out of here. Hey, dude. Well, all these spiders are coming from somewhere. It looks like I had already lit this one up once. I wonder what happened. Is there a witch around here? Yeah, there is. I hear him. Her, it, whatever. See, that looks like it looped back around into somewhere we've already been. Yeah, it did. That was the first spawner we found. We should probably eat. Where's that witch at? Let's see him. Okay, yeah, that's what that area does. It just loops back around to here. So we're gonna. Block this off so we know. But this just brings us back out here. Okay. Right, let me clear this out and block all this off and get it lit up good. And I need to keep an ear out for that witch. He's. It's somewhere around here. Okay, this all like just circles back around into itself. It's weird. I don't know where that goes. I'm trying to carefully make my way around because that witch is around here somewhere. I can still hear it. Well, I've yet to find that witch, guys. Um, literally looks like my head's connected to the ceiling. Anyway, that's going to be a pretty long-winded episode for today, so I think that's about all the time we have. You guys, thanks for watching the Bedrock Beta Adventure Series. My name has been Simrex. You guys, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.